My name is Matt Brinkman. I'm Deputy Fire and EMS Chief of the City of Salem. I serve on Western Virginia EMS's Board of Directors as a representative from the City of Salem, and I also serve on the Executive Committee on the Board. Hi, my name is Joe Coyle. I'm Chief of Christiansburg Rescue, and I'm here this evening to present one of our regional awards as a board member for the Western Virginia EMS Council. Hi, I'm Kerry Harvey Cutter, and I'm here as a member of the Western Virginia EMS Board to present one of the regional awards of excellence. Hello, this is Steve Simon, President of Western Virginia EMS Council. I'm here to present a very special award in memory of Benny Summerlin, a former president and great contributor to Western Virginia EMS Council. Good morning, I'm Jason Ferguson, Western Virginia EMS Council Board Member and Chief of Bonsai County Fire and EMS. We're here today at Running City Station 1 to recognize some of Running Fire and EMS finest with the Regional EMS Council Awards. I'm Val Tweedy, a member of the Board of Directors for the Western Virginia EMS Council and also the Treasurer for the Town of Christiansburg, Virginia. Hello, my name is Chris Christensen, Field Coordinator with Western Virginia EMS Council. I'm here today and excited to present two of the regional awards. Uh, this year's recipient is Steve Simon. Steve is the chief of the Ronald County Fire and EMS Rescue and has been for five years. He is finishing his second two-year term as president of the Western Virginia EMS Board. Steve, it gives me a great deal of personal privilege to present this award to you. So we're here this afternoon to uh, recognize Dr. Haley Inman as uh, the Outstanding EMS Physician. Uh, the Cheryl B. Haas Award, as it's known in the West Virginia EMS Council region. Uh, a little bit of background about Dr. Inman. Uh, she is one of the first of three physicians to complete the Career Clinic EMS Fellowship offered through Career Clinic Emergency Medicine, which is a two-year fellowship uh, that is accredited by ACGME and includes an MBA. Uh, since that time, she has become the Operational Medical Director for Korean Clinic Patient Transport, Korean Clinic Lifeguard, and in October of 2018, Runner County Fire and Rescue. Uh, Dr. Emman is passionate about EMS care and the positive impact of the pre hospital provider setting. Uh, she provides leadership with hands-on approach and expanded uh, the use of simu the simulation center to, to all the divisions for EMS providers, highly involved in quality improvement programs, and meets with ALS and critical care providers during orientations uh, to make sure they're ready for the release. Uh, so without further ado, congratulations to Dr. Inman. This year's award for Outstanding Contribution to EMS Telecommunication is presented to Mr. Logan Underwood. Logan is an exceptional communications officer and he consistently demonstrates his capabilities to provide citizens with the best emergency services in the localities that he serves. Logan is the perfect example of patience and empathy and is that calm voice that you would want to talk to on your worst day. Logan, on behalf of the Western Virginia EMS Board of Directors, congratulations and thank you for your service. The first award we have this morning is the Outstanding EMS Provider. Uh, this year, the award is presented to Jason Crouch with Brennan Fire and EMS. Jason is a 23-year member of the department and currently serves as an EMS Operations Captain. Jason is a true leader on calls. He educates providers, helps take care of patients, and really advance the practice of pre-hospital medicine in the West Virginia EMS Council region. Uh, so without further ado, congratulations, Captain Jason Crouch. Thank you. Great. 
next award we have to present is the Outstanding EMS Educator Award. This year, the award is being presented to Melissa Brock with Run Up Fire and EMS. For the past 13 years, Melissa has been an EMS training specialist for Run Up Fire and EMS, where she instructs new recruits in EMS classes and EMT basic training, along with tracking certifications and con ed for over 285 personnel. She is an instructor in all aspects of EMS and uses creative and unique techniques to keep education interesting. This year's outstanding EMS agency has the largest coverage area in Pennsylvania County at approximately 71 square miles. Just over a year ago, they were only able to answer approximately 30% of their calls due to staffing. With high demand and numbers less than adequate to provide EMS services, Gretna Fire Department and Gretna Rescue Squad merged their efforts to form Gretna Fire and Rescue. The department has worked diligently to inform the community of their efforts and proudly answering over 95% of their calls. And like I say, the only time y'all really ever even miss a call is because you, you run out of ambulances. Um, uh, and we've had that. This year's winner of the outstanding EMS agency is Gretna Fire and Rescue. Congratulations. We're uh, recognizing this year's winner of the outstanding EMS leadership award. Uh, this year's winner is Matt Brickman, the Deputy Chief of Salem Fire and EMS Department. Uh, a little background on Matt for the reason for the award. Uh, Matt is a true EMS leader that demonstrates the best in professionalism and leadership in his field with an unparalleled commitment to uphold the highest standards in EMS and the fire service. Matt is the Deputy Fire Chief and Deputy Emergency Management Coordinator for the City of Salem and chairs several committees in the region, including the Western Virginia EMS Council's Education Committee. Matt's leadership has allowed the Salem Fire and EMS Department to evolve into an organization that focuses on patient-centric, customer service-driven model of, for EMS delivery. Deputy Chief Rickman constantly reviews the department's EMS procedures and responses for effectiveness and assists to, in data collection for Virginia Tech Korean EMS Fellows Program. This year's winner of the Outstanding EMS Leadership Award is Matt Rick. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you. The Award for Innovation Excellence in EMS is a new award this year in 2020. And this year's winner has always had an overarching medical goal to embrace and practice evidence-based medicine. For almost a decade now, they have been open to embracing new ideas and concepts in EMS. Based on sound evidence, peer-reviewed research, and advances natu nationally in EMS protect profession. Christiansburg Rescue's innovative attitude has been met at times by some gentle and skeptical resistance from colleagues and receiving facilities. However, by consistently producing quality patients' outcomes, Christiansburg Rescue is demonstrating the importance to patients of EMS adopting an evidence-based approach. Christiansburg Rescue continues to research and evaluate procedures, technology, and interventions to promote better health to the community that it serves. Dustin Williams is the Chief Innovation Officer for Christiansburg Rescue, along with Chief Coyle. This year's winner of the Innovation Excellence in EMS is Christiansburg Rescue. Congratulations, gentlemen. I'm Chris Christensen, field coordinator for Western Virginia EMS. We're here today to present the nurse with outstanding contribution to EMS. Uh, I uh, present this award to Dan Freeman. He's the Director of Trauma Services at Carilion Runnett Memorial Hospital. He has been instru instrumental in providing a standard of excellence for patients and families for over 15 years. 
During his time in trauma services, he has focused on quality assurance and improvement and brought EMS and hospital together to influence current evidence-based practices to Southwest Virginia and beyond. He serves on several local and state committees and strives to educate not only hospital and pre-hospital providers, but also the community in uh, preventative trauma-related injuries. Help us in congratulating Dan Freeman, this year's winner of the Nurse with Outstanding Contribution to EMS. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm here today to present the Outstanding Contribution to EMS Health and Safety Award. On June 16, 2018, Jonathan's best friend of 12 years lost his life to suicide, leaving behind his parents, two sons, a daughter, and step-parents amongst numerous fire EMS members. Since his death, Jonathan has made it a personal goal to implement programs so that others are able to identify possible red flags and triggers that could prevent someone's death. This year's winner of Outstanding Contribution to EMS Health and Safety is Jonathan Smith. Congratulations. Thank you. The next award we have for the West Virginia EMS Council Region is the award for Outstanding Contribution to EMS Emergency Preparedness and Response. This year's award is presented to the Roanoke City Emergency Management Team. And a little background there, since March of 2020, the City of Roanoke Emergency Management Team has worked diligently through three locally declared emergencies, COVID-19, flooding, and civil unrest. Through their leadership and cooperation with each other, city departments, community partners, and local and state agencies, the city has enhanced their ability to address and cope with such emergencies. Without further ado, run up the city emergency management. Accepting the award will be the time chief president Chan. Half of the entire board of directors present this Benny Summerlin Award to Rob Logan, our current executive director. This award is in recognition of all the hard work of a person that contributes day in, day out to the council. This is our own award, and we're very pleased to be able to present this to Rob Logan. 